San Diego is a coastal California town with excellent weather and plenty to do. Within its wide city borders, you can climb mountains, traverse deserts, and surf palm tree-lined beaches. Learn about military and Spanish colonial history and taste fresh seafood and Mexican cuisines. From ocean, mission, and Pacific beaches to Little Italy and the gas lamp quarter, San Diego has something for everyone. We have collected all the best 10 best things to do in San Diego. So make sure to watch the end to see what we have selected as number one. The Library of Travel is the number one travel channel on YouTube. Our team of dedicated travel junkies will go above and beyond to inform you about your future travel destination, so you can have the best travel experience on your next trip. If you want to be eligible for our $50 booking.com voucher giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel and post your next travel destination in the comments. So, without further ado, we will dive right into the video. Number 10. San Diego Air and Amp Space Museum. The amazing San Diego Air and Space Museum can be found in Balboa Park, which is located not too far from the heart of the city. This museum is home to a vast collection of ancient airplanes as well as gleaming spacecraft. The magnificent Ford Building, which boasts an exquisitely one-of-a-kind architectural design, is home to the museum's enormous collection of antiquities as well as a number of other displays. Since it first opened its doors in 1961, the museum has seen significant expansion. These days, visitors can see models of the Wright Brothers gliders alongside dazzling jets and rockets that have been sent into space by NASA. You will gain a comprehensive understanding of the history of aviation and the development of space exploration as you make your way through its galleries, which are filled with photographs, displays, and actual aircraft. Number 9. Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. A breathtaking stretch of coastline known as the Sunset Cliffs may be reached by car in just a quarter of an hour's drive west of the downtown area of San Diego. The region, which is now preserved as a natural park, got its name from the sheer coastal cliffs that stare out over the ocean. It is a very popular site to go to in order to watch the sunset over the Pacific Ocean. Hidden coves, tidal pools, and beaches may be found lying at the foot of the towering cliffs and rocky coastal bluffs, which are all tumbling their way down to the ocean below them. This surely makes for a stunning spectacle. From the top of the cliffs, tourists not only have the opportunity to take in the mesmerizing scenery and breathtaking sunsets, but they may also catch a glimpse of California gray whales traveling down the coast. Number 8. Little Italy. Little Italy, which is located to the northwest of the Central Business District, is undeniably one of the best neighborhoods in the city for shopping, dining, and nightlife. It is a neighborhood in San Francisco, California, that is located close to Waterfront Park and the Embarcadero. It is known for its abundance of Italian restaurants, grocery stores, art galleries, and a spectacular weekly farmer's market. The bustling neighborhood, which was formerly the hub of the city's tuna industry, is now home to pizza shops, bodegas, and breweries that arose after the canning companies in the area shut down. In addition to taking a stroll, going shopping, and stopping for a bite to eat or a cup of coffee, both locals and visitors can enjoy the numerous festivals and events relating to Italian culture that is hosted by the community throughout the course of the year. Number 7. Belmont Park. The historic Belmont Park is a great place to spend the day because to the roller coasters and other rides, attractions, and restaurants that it offers. The park also has a charming old-fashioned look and feel. The Beachside Amusement Park, which first opened its doors in 1925 and has been one of Mission Beach's most popular attractions ever since, can be reached from the heart of San Diego in just 15 minutes. Even though it is home to some endearing carnival rides like a carousel and bumper cars, the park's most famous attraction is its giant dipper roller coaster, which is now designated as a National Historic Landmark. This roller coaster has been there for over 100 years. In addition to playing laser tag along Belmont's wooden rails and taking in the ambience, visitors can also try out some of Belmont's more recent attractions, such as zip lines, escape rooms, and laser tag. Number 6. SeaWorld San Diego. SeaWorld has welcomed more than 130 million guests since it first opened its doors in 1964, making it the most popular tourist destination in San Diego as well as one of the most visited marine life parks in the entire world. 
People can gain knowledge about the world's oceans and the animals that live in them, such as dolphins, killer whales, walruses, penguins, and polar bears, by attending shows, viewing displays, or going inside enclosures that house these animals. Guests can experience the wild Arctic through a variety of rides, such as a flume roller coaster, rafting through the shipwreck rapids, and a simulated helicopter trip. Hi there, quick interruption. Our team is working extremely hard to provide you with this quality, well-researched content. You would do us an extreme favor if you can smash up the like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 5. La Jolla. La Jolla, often known as the jewel of Southern California, is a charmingly lovely village in the style of the Mediterranean that is just a few minutes' drive from the city center, but it gives the impression that you have unintentionally taken the exit for Greece or Italy. There are many things that can keep you entertained here, such as some of the best restaurants in the city, such as 910, which is located in the Grande Colonial Hotel. Do not miss the neighboring Legends Gallery, which features a beautiful collection of artwork by former La Jolla resident Dr. Seuss, or the Instagram-friendly La Jolla Cove, where you can nearly always find groups of seals and sea lions. Both of these locations are within walking distance of one another. Number 4. Torrey Pines Glider Port. If you rent a paraglider in San Diego, you may glide peacefully above the Torrey Pine State Natural Reserve and get a bird's-eye perspective of this wonderful natural area. Flight experiences begin at $175 and may be purchased at the Torrey Pines Gliderport, which is home to one of the most successful paragliding schools in all of North America. You will be secured to a trained pilot, so there is no need to worry about anything other than taking in the breathtaking panoramas of the 2,000-acre reserve with its numerous hiking paths and sandstone cliffs below you. Number 3. Gas Lamp Quarter. The 16 and a half blocks that make up the Gas Lamp Quarter in downtown San Diego combine Victorian ambience with a thriving entertainment, shopping, and nightlife scene of the 21st century. This neighborhood is known for its enticing charisma and rich history. The Gas Lamp Quarter just celebrated its 150th anniversary, which is an impressive accomplishment. After serving as the location of San Diego's red light district in the 19th century, this neighborhood has undergone significant revitalization over the course of the past 20 years and is now home to more than 100 retail establishments. Number 2. Del Mar Racetrack. Del Mar Racetrack, which was opened in 1937 by the singer Bing Crosby, was once a playground for the stars, who would ride the train down from Hollywood for a day of fun on the grass. Bing Crosby was the one who opened the racetrack. Tickets for general admission are merely $6, and the lowest possible wagers can be placed for only $2. Therefore, putting a bit of your own money into the game by betting on your preferred pony to win each race doesn't cost very much. The months of July through September make up the racing season known as summer, while the months of August through November make up the racing season known as autumn. Number 1. The Belly Up Tavern. Fans of live music have gone to San Diego's live venues for years in order to catch local artists like Jason Mraz, Iron Butterfly, and Blink-182 in their early stages of success before they became famous. The Belly Up Tavern in Solana Beach is well known for being the first venue to present new bands in the genres of hip-hop, jazz, and reggae. There is also a restaurant on the premises called Tavern, which is now closed for refurbishment, where you can refuel on a wide variety of delectable small nibbles such as truffle fries, blackened fish, street tacos, and key lime pie. So that were the top 10 things to do in San Diego. Which activity did you like the most? If you have found any value in this video, please consider liking this video and don't forget to subscribe for further videos. If you want us to cover another tourist destination, let us know in the comments. The one with the most mention will be highlighted in one of the next videos. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next library of travel.